Hi, my dear friends, good day. May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you can notice, I'm in the car on a missionary trip. And the verse of today is only just to strengthen the idea of the most important thing, the greatest treasure that a human being can have in his life, which is the salvation of his soul. Because when the Lord Jesus came in the world, he did not come to save the body, not even to save the spirit, because the spirit already goes back to him. He came to save the soul. The soul is this invincible body which our body carries. When we feel a pain, this body called the soul, this invincible body, it, it groans. What then happens? So when a servant of of the of God makes makes a prayer of Psalm 116, he shows what God wants the most from us, what God desires the most from me, from my life, from the lives of each and every one. He says, what shall I offer to the Lord for all the benefits that he has granted to me? What is the best offering that I can give to God, that I can offer to my Lord? What is that offering? This prophetic psalms, it speaks of the Lord Jesus. We can see this in an indirect way, but it's the Lord Jesus. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? And he himself responds, I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. When God spoke to Moses there on Mount Sinai, and said for him to speak, to tell the people his word, he says, tell my people the following words. You shall not have other gods. You shall not have any other gods. This word means, this is the first commandment, meaning love the Lord your God above all things with all your heart, with all your soul. And in this Psalm 116, verse 12, he makes this request. He wants to give something to God. He wants to offer his best to God. And says, what shall I render to the Lord? What is the offering that the Lord will be pleased in most? And he himself answers, I will take up the cup of salvation, the salvation of my soul, and call upon the name of the Lord. My dear friend, this world is full of illusions, full of, of rot, full of disgrace. But I believe that people love this rot of this world. They love the smell of the rot of this world. They love the illusion. They love living in this illusion. Majority love this. And how difficult it is for God to save a soul. Just one soul. And how difficult is this soul for this soul to recognize the Lord as God of his life. So what we can most 
offer to God is precious, which is to take the cup of salvation, to take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord Jesus gave the cup of salvation to his disciples and said, how I yearn that you may take this cup in the, in the kingdom of my Lord with you. Because the Lord Jesus yearned. He, he went through what he had to go through. He died once and for all. He resurrected. And that he could partake in the Lord's Supper with his people. I say there's nothing more glorious nothing more precious there's nothing more that we can do that pleases God than for myself to take upon myself the cup of salvation and call upon the Lord there's nothing better than this I have let go of everything that the world offers me in order to offer my soul my life to take up the cup of salvation that I may live this eternity. So this is what pleases God. Because that is what he came in the world for. So once we take up the cup of salvation, that is the joy that we will have being close to God. Besides the joy, there will be peace. Other than that, people continue groaning trying to take people to this idea, to this word, which brings life. Keep your salvation, my dear friend. There's no mother, father, nor your husband or wife. Do not allow money, do not allow reputation or anything in this world to compensate or to take the place of your salvation. May God bless you all, and that may you become, as I said, to become a light of the Lord wherever you may go. May God bless you until tomorrow.